Yo, 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 guys, what is up? What is up? Dar is back, and today we are back in World of Tanks. And today we are using the M10 Wolverine. Now, I do have some more videos that will be coming out about the M10 Wolverine in the future. However, I did this particular one because I had a rather, let's say, interesting ending. So you can see here, I am at the bottom of the list. Well, next to the bottom of the list, there's a PZ4 at the very bottom, and then I'm right above him. So, uh, yeah, we're going to consider this a good way to... Just because you're at the bottom of the list doesn't mean you can't contribute in a big way to your team. And the end of this thing was freaking awesome! Alright, and, you know, granted, too, when I did this video, I didn't know as much then as I do now. Alright, so, uh, since I am at the bottom of the hill, or bottom of the list, I'm going to go up to the top of the hill and try to snipe the best I possibly can. Alright, so we're going to move up here, and we're just going to kind of try to watch me, uh, snipe a little bit. Um, I did find out some interesting facts about our M10 Wolverine here. Um, I'm going to be reading this, Yeah, this is going to come from, uh, Wikipedia. The... M10 tank destroyer, formerly 3 inch gun mortar carriage. The M10 was the United States tank destroyer of World War II. Based on the chassis of the M4 Sherman tank, it was the most important tank destroyer of the war. Well, tank destroyer of World War II, sorry. And combined uh, reasonably potent anti tank weaponry with a turreted platform, unlike the M3 GMC, whose gun was capable of only limited traverse. Despite the introduction of more powerful weapon types and replacements, it combined, oh, it remained in service until the end of the war. Some of these replacements were in fact modified and rebuilt from the M10 itself. Now, something very interesting is that it was christened the Wolverine by the British. Although unlike, you know, other vehicle names such as the M4 Sherman, the name was not adopted by American soldiers, who called it TD, which is just a nickname for, for a tank destroyer in general. Which I found very interesting that the name Wolverine didn't even come from the U.S., and the U.S. never even adopted the name, that that came from our British allies at the time. So, uh, during game you can see me trying to, you know, snipe this T-59, um... Yeah, just trying to do my best. The Type 59 is, of course, a Tier 8 gold tank. It's a medium tank from the, uh... Oh, shoot. What was I thinking? Uh... China! That's what it was. From China. And they have taken the tank out of the game. That tank is was also, uh... A Korean War tank. Not a World War II tank. But I'm doing... You know, I was doing my best trying to damage. And we're just kind of looking around here. There's that... 59 again. We can just do something to him. Didn't scratch him. Oh, and it accidentally hit my ally. Oops. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't mean it. Did a little bit of damage to him there. 130, not too hard bad. The Wolverine is a tier 5 TD. So, uh... I'm, I'm a bit out of my bit out of my uh, element here when it comes to you know fighting my enemy here in this map. But just do your best. You know when you're at the bottom of the list, you know don't expect to get kills. You know just go in there and do as you know much damage as you can to the enemy, and you will get you, know, you will rack up points. In fact, you know if you know I was to hit that 32 there for 500 damage, and uh, he had 200 points of health left, and somebody came in and killed him. Well, I'm going to get more points for that kill than he is, because I did more damage to him than he did. Alright, so we're going to hide behind our rock. See if we can't continue to snipe something. Our team is winning 7-6 to six at the moment. So I have at least a decent team at this point. Yes, and I'm still cruising this Wolverine. Um, I unlocked the Hellcat from it, and now I'm working to unlock the Slugger from it. But I really enjoy these these tanks, especially you know the, the American TDs with the turrets are freaking awesome. 
And I guess it works for my playstyle because I'm still struggling with the fixed, you know, the fixed gun and placement on the front for the Germans and the Russians, which I do have. I'm just still trying to learn how to use them properly. My biggest thing is, you know, when I zoom in like this, you can't, you can only go so far. You have to, you know, zoom back out and then turn the whole tank and then zoom back in. So yeah, that's that's the biggest thing for me. I got used to. All right, so we're waiting for this guy to try to stick his nose out up on this hill again, because I know he's going to do it. That's just one of these things, you know, especially when you're at the bottom of the list. You want to live, you, you know, you play the patient game. Wait for these guys to stick their nose out. Now, if you look down here at the map, um, you're not going to see it on the screen, but on the map at the bottom of the screen, you can see that's a uh, heavy moving up. That is a KV-5 Tier 8 Russian gold tank. Um, recently got one myself, and I absolutely love it. But that's neither here nor there. So, as I said, you know, tier eight heavy gold tank. I am a tier five American TD with paper armor. So eventually, here you see he's starting to cap the base. Eventually, here I'm going to notice that. I mean, I'm not, obviously not being very observant during this match. Um, like I said that this, you know, I've learned quite a bit since I've played this match and uh, matter of fact playing live stream the you know the viewers and stuff have helped me dramatically improve my gameplay um, I'm a way better now than I was when I started all right so here's the kv5 way out of my weight class I mean he could sneeze on me and kill me and I am the bottom of the list but yeah I'm taking him on very very carefully I have no hopes, dreams, or inspirations of actually destroying him. What I'm doing, my theory is, I'm going to try to keep him occupied. Try to keep his attention on me. Hopefully I can survive long enough. You can see that tight, that lull in there. Lulls, get him, Wolverine. <laughs> and I am using manual aim trying to hit that commander tag. And then you can see that the R2 turret right out front on the front of the tank. I didn't know at the time that was their weak point. So I'm trying to hit him you know, on the side, on the underbelly, as best as I can. I'm just trying to keep him occupied. And live through it. If he hits me, I'm gone. For one minute. And gone he goes. Who was that? I believe that was the, uh... Here, we'll see it in chat here. I forgot who it was. Yeah, the M18. The Ended up getting him, but I was able to keep him occupied and uh, keep him occupied and focused on me while one of my bigger allies came in and finished him off and kept him from getting the cap. That's why I was doing a minimal amount of damage to him, which reset the cap so he couldn't, you know, capture our base. But yeah, that so that you know just and you know like I said when I did this I was I'm still not the best player I'm still not even a great player. Um approaching maybe a good player I'm hoping but uh, yeah I was really really crappy player when I did this and uh, yeah bottom of the list and I was able to basically keep the game from being lost by that kv5 because I was able to delay the cap while you know one of our bigger or one of my bigger allies came in and destroyed him so yeah that was freaking awesome I, <laughs> I loved that man I had adrenaline pumping Oh god, just one one shot. One shot. If he'd have gotten off on me, and that would have been toast for me. And it was cool how I kind of dodged a couple of his bullets. Barely surviving. So, uh, yeah, now we're just going to wrap it up here. We got one guy up here, so uh, go kill him, and then we're going to call it quits. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Remember, uh, you know, all my social links are in the description below. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Even if it's, you know, thumbs down, you know, you know it's, any feedback is, is, you know, really helpful to me. So, uh, I'm going to cut it here. Until next time, guys, I will see you in game.